How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. In this video, we're taking a look at this right here. This is the Elgato Thunderbolt 3 mini dock featuring both DisplayPort and HDMI connectivity, allowing you to connect to two displays, 4K at 60 Hertz. So here it is folks, this is the Elgato Thunderbolt 3 mini dock in the product packaging. You can see that silver aluminum like color. It isn't aluminum, it's actually plastic, uh, but it is a high quality plastic. So let's flip the box around and let's talk about some of the IO options that you get. You get display port, you get HDMI, you get USB type A, and you get gigabit ethernet, along with of course that Thunderbolt 3 cable for connecting to your Mac. All right, time to do some plastic surgery with our knife. Open up the packaging, let's flip it around, take off the top, and the first thing you'll see is an advertisement for Elgato's Thunderbolt Dock Utility Download. This enables high power USB support and the ability to eject all storage devices at once on your Mac. Not a requirement, but an option. So here it is folks, in the flesh, the Elgato Thunderbolt 3 mini dock. We'll set that aside for now. Let's see what else is inside. Of course, you get some regulatory information. Who cares, right? All right, so we now have this four inch by two inch and then by about three quarters of an inch. So a relatively small device, it's gonna be able to travel well. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of room. There's no extra power plugs needed. It's bus powered. So there's the front of the device. You can see that Aluminum-like exterior, although it is plastic, a very dense plastic, but plastic nonetheless, so keep that in mind. And as I briefly mentioned earlier, this dock has a built-in Thunderbolt 3 cable, which some people I know won't like, but I personally think it's great. You don't have to worry about finding a Thunderbolt 3 cable. It tucks away underneath for easy storage, and then you simply open it up and route it through this little port right here whenever you need to use it. So in my opinion, it's very convenient to have that built-in Thunderbolt 3 cable. All right, so let me show you how it works. You see this little groove? You just slide your finger under there, route the Thunderbolt 3 cable, and we're done. That's it. Now you're ready to connect directly to your Max Thunderbolt 3 ports. Super simple, super easy. And when you're all finished, when you're ready to pack up and go, then all you need to do is do the exact opposite. Basically take the Thunderbolt 3 cable, remove it from the route, and then stick it back in to lock it into place just like that. And now you're ready to travel. So again, it's just a very simple, convenient solution. Obviously, if the cable wears out, you're gonna have some issues there, but chances are that's not gonna happen. So solid device from a build quality perspective. And as you just saw, this is shaping up to be a pretty excellent dock, but how does it perform? Does it live up to its billing? Will it allow two 4K displays at 60 Hertz? Does HDMI actually work at 60 Hertz? These are all questions that we're gonna answer right now. But before that, I just wanted to well, note two things. Number one, I wanted to thank everyone for supporting this channel. It really is appreciated those that have subscribed. I really appreciate that. And then number two, I just wanna remind you all to make sure you click that little like button because it helps other people discover our videos, which in turn helps the channel to grow. So appreciate everyone who subscribed thus far. Appreciate everyone who likes every one of our videos. And I just wanted to remind you guys to do that right now. All right, now on to the testing. Okay, so here we go. We have our MacBook Pro, we have our Elgato dock. So now we'll just remove the Thunderbolt 3 cable from its storage position and connect it to our MacBook Pro. All right, so now this is what we've all been waiting for. Will this allow for 4K at 60 Hertz simultaneously via DisplayPort and HDMI? Hmm, that's a good question because HDMI in particular has always been a little bit finicky when it comes to 60 frames per second 4K, but now you're trying to connect two devices using both DisplayPort and HDMI. How does it work? Well, you can see there's one display, of course my MacBook Pro display, and right above both those displays, we have another display. And guess what? Both external displays are running at 4K 60 Hertz. So yes, the dock lives up to its billing, allowing for two 4K displays connected simultaneously 
via HDMI and DisplayPort, 4K, 60 Hertz. So here you can see in system information, have my Thunderbolt 3 connection, the Thunderbolt 3 mini dock, full 40 gigabits per second connection. And then you can see here under the display section of system information, you see my MacBook Pro display. And then you see the first external display, the display port display, 4K at 60 Hertz. And then the HDMI display, yeah, 4K at 60 Hertz. So it works as advertised. This tiny little bus powered solution from Elgato, yes, the Thunderbolt 3 mini dock works just like that. Now let's try to connect to the additional ports. So we have gigabit ethernet, we'll just plug in like that. And then we also have a USB type A connection, we'll plug in like that. And here you can see gigabit ethernet's working just fine. Cancel that out. And then head it back over to system information. You can see USB 3.0, five gigabits per second. So that works fine. So that's it folks. The Elgato Thunderbolt 3 mini dock lives up to its billing. It does allow two displays to connect at the same time, 4K at 60 Hertz using both HDMI and DisplayPort. So you can find out more information about this down below in the description. Again, if you appreciate this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.